Welcome back to the Quarterback Film Room. This is your host, Brian Trulin here. Coming in at number 22 on the countdown, Mark Sanchez. Mark is a tremendously polished quarterback. Okay, he does a lot of the little things right. He was raised right as a quarterback. Uh, and he's a tremendous athlete. Okay, obviously, you know, the storied SC career. Uh, his, his high school coach was Bob Johnson, uh, who raised him right at the quarterback position from a mechanical standpoint and a fundamental standpoint. Um, throwing on the run, Mark is as good as they come in the National Football League, and he has a, a rare ability to match his feet and to get his feet right in terms of throwing on the move and where he wants to go with the football. So right here against Tennessee, we see right off the bat a design smash movement concept by Chip Kelly here. And as we see, Mark will get out of the pocket, make his decision, and his feet allow him to make a throw quickly and accurately down the field for six. And we'll see it from the tight copy here as well. If the video wants to cooperate, and it's not cooperating. But we are uh, moving on from that. Many of us remember the Thanksgiving Day game and this throw, where Mark rolls out left and he stops. And he gets his shoulders in a position to make that throw over a linebacker to a spot. So he has a, a special ability to throw accurately on the move. And it's because of his great mechanics and anticipation throwing to areas. Next up, we go to Tennessee game later on in the season. Mark will take the drop and he'll evade pressure in the pocket. He'll get skinny in the pocket and then throw knowingly uh, to Jordan Matthews, who who he knows is um, locked up man-to-man -man coverage pre-snap. So he knows after he eludes, evades, that he's going to be able to hit Matthews, who has his back turned to him, and turn around for Mark. A tremendous amount of trust involved in that type of a throw. And just a few plays later against Tennessee, we'll see a deep out to Jeremy Macklin thrown by Mark. And again, his arm's not going to jump out at you, especially coming off the surgery that he had, you know, in 2013 on his shoulder. So I believe Mark was playing at about 75 to 80% here. But because of his great fundamentals and release, he's able to fit balls in to spaces down the field still. That should only improve tenfold come uh, 2015. And then we'll head to the Carolina game here, and, and we'll see some more movement off script for Mark. Different. Uh, please tell me we have this play, but if you could just bear with me, I'm going to pull the play out because it was a great throw. Uh, it was a tremendous throw. Here it is. Thanks for bearing with me. And we're going to go to quarter four, where we're going to see Mark evade pressure again and make a trustworthy throw down the field to Brett Selleck. And we'll see it in slow-mo. The action fake, the backside pressure, the sidestep, the reset, and then the throw down the field to Selleck on a dime. Literally on a dime. Okay, so all in all, Mark had you know an opportunity to play last year, which was huge for him. Which was huge for him. Uh, and he's going to go into 2015 battling for that starting job, and I expect his arm to be much better this year. We'll see how it all unfolds. But uh, and then as 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 we see this side step from the tight copy, the the side step and then the reset to sell it. And the last play we'll uh, see here is going to end up being um, something that he struggled with against the Packers. And he ends up taking a sack against Green Bay. So, um, and this is something that he, he does struggle with at times. And, uh, you know, and if, and if we watch it here, We'll see the crossing route here is going to come open, but Mark 
doesn't trust it and he doesn't anticipate the crossing route right now to the wide open Matthews and he ends up taking a sack. So that's an area of his game that needs more refinement, refinement understanding uh, how to throw crossing routes early with accuracy and touch.